Tinubu has been called to resign over his academic record because he has been or become a national embarrassment. Is he only a national international embarrassment? Not only, not only national embarrassment. Well, the camp of the 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has called on President Bola Metinubu to resign from office over the controversy surrounding his academic record with the Chicago State University. Of course, nobody needs to remind him to do that. He does not need to be told to do that. But uh, this is a... <laughs> he's dead on arrival. Yeah? This is his turn. Of course, in a sane environment, before even... It wouldn't even get to this level. In the first place, he would not even get a ticket of a APC. But uh, it's unfortunate. We Some people will be claiming that they are enlightened or they are learned. But it's unfortunate that that is not what is playing out here. That is the right thing to be done for him to resign, but he won't do that. Okay, Articles Media aide Paul Ibe, who made the call, said the issue regarding Tinubu's academic record has become a national embarrassment. The aide was, he, was of the opinion that Tinubu had made Nigeria and Nigerians a laughing stock, of course, yes, at the international level. And the only way for him to re rectify it is by resigning. Hey, <laughs> hey. Wishful thinking, resign qua. He made the call ahead the resumption of the court case on Monday in a petition in which Atiku's legal team is seeking a court order for the Chicago State University to release Tinubu's academic records. It will be recalled that a United States District Judge Nancy Maldonado had on Thursday agreed to stay and order directing Chicago State University to make Tinubu's academic documents available at articles to articles legal team. After the president's lawyers filed an emergency motion seeking a delay in the implementation of the order directing the Chicago State University to comply with articles subpoenas to Monday, um, to delay. So what will not happen? Is it that say, they don't want it to be released or just to give them some time before it can be released? Because I don't see really get this because some of this thing is something, there's something really happening. Reacting to the developments, Ibe said no matter the delay tactics employed by Tinubu and his legal team, the academic records would be released. If Tinubu is a first-class graduate like he claims, it will be in his best interest and that of over 200 million Nigerians for him to take a first class decision of resigning. This is the only way that he can save Nigeria and its people of this embarrassment and laughing stock that it has become. is a national embarrassment, a regional embarrassment, a continental embarrassment and an embarrassment to the black race if he see has any modicum of respect for himself and the people he claims to be leading. He should resign as president with immediate alacrity, no matter how long he tries to store the process, the records that he has been hiding from Nigerians for decades will be discovered. He needs to be reminded that the United States is not Nigeria, he be told this day in, on Saturday. Articles 8 further accused Tinubu of plunging Nigerians into hardship uh, with his economic policies. Look at the issue of the value of the Naira and the exchange rate. The meeting of the Central Bank Monetary Committee has been postponed. Things are just grinding to a halt. Nothing is happening because the committee that is supposed to provide the economic policies is not working. Nigeria is now an autopilot and like a sick person receiving drips in the hospital. Things are just bad. He had it. Speaking further, Ibe said Nigerians should be worried about why Tinubu is fighting to Sunday to keep the details of his academic records with Chicago State University a secret. Nigerians have become the butts of the jokes. Mind you that one out of every five black men in the world is a Nigerian, he said. Ibe added that Tinubu's academic records as monumental implications for Nigerians. If for any reason you want to change or get a new job and the new employers want to do due diligence, you write your armor matter to release your credentials to your 
would be new employers. This is the case of or with the APC presidential candidate in the last presidential election. When should Bola Tinubu stop his school from? Why should he stop his school from releasing his credentials to the public? This is what we should agitate the minds of Nigerians. Articles Media Aid submitted. Unfortunately, you will see a lot of people. They don't. They don't have shame because everybody's. You know, every sane Nigerian has been asking this question, what is there? There's a video, maybe I'm going to break the video later, where he was boasting, he made first class, and he has been going around telling uh, Nigerians in diaspora that uh, it was as a, a, a result of a good or, you know, quality of education he had that made him to become president today, you know? The only thing I, I, I don't even like in all these things, maybe they always gather their so-so-co supporters, because in the real sense, if people are just neutral, they will just answer you. Ask a question that, why is this that say you have all these uh, baggages around you? But they will not ask questions. You will be the only one to talk and be talking to people as if it's talking to gullible ones, unfortunately. And you will see people who are going to be saying, forget, leave him, leave that. The question I'm always asking, the likes of uh, Robert Clark, Iwale uh, Shoyenka, when they begin to talk in that manner, and that is why people are, tend, you know, people tend to say, these guys are, tribalistic you say you are educated you say you are learned at the end of the day you see evil because maybe it is because it's from your own tribe which you are not supposed to be playing that nonsense as it is now everybody's is being served a breakfast everybody they chop wutu wutu just like in the case of the exchange rate and all of that see somebody who cannot even be open some people are saying oh it is his private it is in then who is article to be asking for is a to be asking for his credentials. Why will he not ask? Is he not a a, 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 a Nigerian? The policies that uh, Tinubu is taking, is he not affecting Atiku? All Nigerians are Tinubu's em employers. If you don't know, they say he has rights. Which right are, we, are you guys talking about? But you, should, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves that he's saying that uh, they should not release. What is in that thing? Everybody cannot just, you know, everybody just thinking around that's it because it's an embarrassment. It is really an embarrassment. And it's so it will only take a, a crook, rogues, to be supporting this kind of a thing. What kind of a public... A, some people say, hey, maybe you are going to tell us to come and open it's a private part and all. Mm -mm, that's not what we are saying. Because what is being asked is requirement for him to get the job. Nobody is telling us to... Uh, telling him to come and tell Nigerians what he ate in the morning or what he did not eat or whatever. That is not what we are saying. Because this APC and their supporters, especially those of them from the Southwest, they always, this, their propaganda is not working. Thank God that they have met their match because they have always used propaganda. Now you don't even need the TV stations, radio stations. Individuals now, everyone is, everybody is now a journalist. On the go, on the run. Nobody needs anybody to tell anybody anything. It, is, it was in those days that they, because no social media, the conventional uh, media houses will come and tell you, bamboos everybody with some manner of stories. And that's what you're going to believe. Whatever they write is what they say. So you can be saying some things if you don't have evidence. But there, now there's evidence. So all those propaganda they used to cajole people then is not going to work. You are meeting your match. You are meeting your match. Unfortunately, uh, not really unfortunately, it's so shocking that uh, even people thought that Siku, we didn't even know that we are going to be going through this uh, long haul because this man has been able to get away with all manner of nonsense. You see all the people that uh, Tinubu is gathering, giving positions here and there. Majority of them, at one point in time, they accuse him of all these things. But you know some people don't have integrity. If you cannot beat them, you join them. They know the truth. My question and even children will be asking, you are boasting of a thing and you are still hiding that thing. Is it not ridiculous? And for him to use his mouth to say that it will cause a irreparable damage, it is what, it is really evidence. Ah. Those people who are talking about it, oh, it does not matter, they should leave him alone. And you want good governance. Somebody who cannot be as transparent as that, you expect him to be transparent in governance. You see that they have been lying. First, they told us that uh, his son, he gave a uh, Mubas 
uh, son, 15 million. Now it is confirmed that it is just pure lie. And these statements came from the presidency because it is a special aid to Tinumbu uh, um, New Media. He, he published it. So it's not as if uh, uh, they say, they say. So the best thing for him to do in the recent, of course, you know that they are not going to, he's not going to resign because his life depends on it. In the first place, all these things have been on ground. He was not supposed to be given tickets, the, the primary tickets of the party. So that is just the way it is. Everybody cannot just go on the same direction, but people will see come out and say it the way it ought to be said. Whether he resigns or not, but that is just the right call that he should resign because it is a, a continental global embarrassment to Nigeria and Nigerians as well.